amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another first time reaction video so I've been going down the world of South American music and I've been exploring some absolutely fantastic vocalists that I've never even heard of until recently and you guys have all been recommending more and more to me and one like area I would really love to explore which I'm hoping you guys can help me out a bit with is the female vocalists of Mexico I haven't really explored many of them we've checked out a lot of male vocalists I still want to check out more but I haven't really checked out many female vocalists so I would love you guys to fill up this comment section and let me know what other vocalists, what other singers you would love me to react to from South America. What are some voices I need to hear that I haven't reacted to yet? Some reactions that you can't believe I haven't put on this channel. Let me know all your recommendations in that comment section down below. But easily, one of the most requested from all of you is this lovely lady right here, Lola Beltran. Now let me know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but you guys have been recommending her like, like crazy and telling me that I need to react to this 1993 performance. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to stop talking. Make sure you guys subscribe for more reactions like this. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Lola Beltran. Yo quiero decirles una cosa. ¿Me dejan? Paloma Negra no estuvo en mi tono. Yo la canto más alta. Y como no me sentí a gusto, la sé decir más y dar más, la voy a volver a cantar. Ah, sí. Again, uh, can you guys let me know what she was saying in the comment section? I'll read the comments after this, see what she was saying, what like translated then. There's no captions on this video, but I don't think, I think when it comes to music, music translates all languages freely. Ya me canso de llorar. Ya no sé si maldecirte o por ti rezar. Tengo miedo de buscarte y de encontrarte. I literally forgot to pause for a second. Like, I, I'm not even joking. I, I forgot I was recording a reaction. I'm, I'm not even joking. I was gone. I was lost. I was away. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> yeah, man, you can literally look at my face. You'll see me unplugged then. I was like, I'm just enjoying this video. I was like, wait a second. There's a camera. I'm recording. I have to like pause, obviously, to comply with the copyright reasons of react, like doing a reaction channel. You have to pause and comment. And that's the whole point. I got to see him watch the whole damn thing. Um, I, 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 I got look, I'm completely lost. I <laughs> oh man, I felt like she was telling a story and somehow I was listening without even understanding the language. Already love her voice, love her style. And man, I love the Mexican instrumentals so much. Every single reaction I've done recorded so far, I've always appreciated the Mexican instrumentals so much. The, the way you conveyed the music is so damn beautiful. Donde me asegura? Mis amigos, her ring shine. Her ring like shine. Like. Hay momentos What? en que quisiera mejor rajar para arrancarme ya los clavos de mi pena. I'm doing it again. I'm just getting like sucked away. What? What? Why? I like this is really strange. I don't know how to describe this kind of reaction that's going on right now. I'm literally listening to her and I'm just being lost. I'm like, my mind is literally getting lost. This is so bizarre. This is really weird. I haven't, I haven't experienced it before. <laughs> I'm like, I honestly feel like. I'm sitting here and she's talking to me and I'm going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't understand what she's saying. Like, I don't speak the language, but somehow I feel like I do. Does that make sense? I don't know if I sound like a fucking crazy person. Like, she's telling me a story I don't understand. But yet somehow I feel like I'm listening to the story. Does that make sense? Like, it's sending my, my imagination to overdrive. This is this is something about her. Mm -hmm. I have to 
Always, this is something I will always point out, and I always point out the vocalist distance from the microphone. How far away is she from the microphone? Now, when you see really talented singers, they're miles away from the microphone. The microphone is miles away because that is actually how they carry their voices a lot better. Because their voices are so damn powerful, they sound better and more clear the further they are from the microphone. So you can always tell when you have a good and strong vocalist on your hands, depending on their distance to the microphone. And right now, she is at least two feet away from that bad boy. Paloma Negra, Paloma Negra, donde, donde andará? That is a strong point. Ya no juegues con mi honra, barra. The goodness that she rolled out on that final note as well. Wow, man, so much strength in her voice. I actually feel like I, I would, I, I want to, I want to listen to a few more songs from her. I reckon, I reckon there's gonna be some that are just mind blowing fucking performances based on her vocal strengths here. Big time. <laughs> you right now someone needs to go up on stage and take that microphone away because it is fucking useless it is not needed this woman doesn't need a damn microphone you gotta take the, take the microphone away her voice is so damn strong it would carry to i, I think I, I think i can hear it is that it's so strong it carried across across continents without that microphone <laughs> what an incredibly strong vocal vocal vocalist oh my god my brain isn't even working the So that was Lola Beltran, was it? Um, okay, um, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, also. Another artist is being recommended on my screen right now. Jenny Rivera. Uh, Riviera. Is that someone I should react to? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We've checked out a... Uh, we've checked out a lot of Mexican vocalists, right? A lot of South American artists, singers, bands, and everything like that. And I've just been asking for more and more recommendations because I feel like South America is just this gemstone of amazing music. And so many... So many people miss out on it. it, it like... We really are subject to just complete ignorance of our own country when it comes to music, aren't we? Like, the walls around here in the UK just sh just shower this country with that kind of music. They just do. Like, you, you won't hear anything else in the world because you are just showered with the country, the, the music that your country gives you. And you're just completely alienated from the rest of this amazing music that is out there. Like this. Like, like, like just sending me on all these journeys through, yeah, through Asia, through India, through flipping... Um, we checked out African artists, European artists, um, all over the world. Some amazing Russian artists, North America, South America. And there's so much music out there I just never would have heard. If not for you guys, not for these recommendations. And Lola Beltran is just another, another singer I just never would have heard the voice of. I would have gone my whole life without ever knowing her name. Never knowing she existed. I would have never known any of this. And it's the same with all of these artists, with Juan Gabriel and all the artists that you guys have been recommending to me and I've been reacting to. I would have just missed out on all of them. I Honestly, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for, for introducing me to this whole world of music. Because otherwise I just never would have heard it. 
I so want to know what this song is about. Uh, how do I pronounce it? Pal, 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 Oma, Paloma, uh, Negra. I'm not even going to try and say that second one. <laughs> Negra, Paloma Negra. Is that how I pronounce that? Um, Jesus, <laughs> flip me now. Uh, pitchforks now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was um, that was an incredible performance. I don't know what it was about her, but when I just pressed play, I felt like I was getting whisked away in a story I wasn't even understanding. And then when she just stepped away from the microphone and was delivering these belting notes, it just hits you like a bus. <sighs> what an absolutely incredible voice. So much power behind those vocals is just bellowing. Um, I felt like throughout the throughout the song, she was just getting further and further and further adrift from that microphone, and somehow her voice was just getting louder and stronger and more powerful. And like I said, one of the things I'm really appreciating is Mexican instrumentals. The instrumentals behind these singers are so captivating, and they really do help tell this story that the singer is telling. Um, absolutely like the perfect backup artist. Beautiful. Oh, man. I cannot wait to read the comment section on this video. Please! Now, you know what? How, we'll do this. I'm going to read all the comments on this video. Whatever is the most requested and most upvoted comment from all of you will be the reaction I record next. So let me know. What do you guys want to see on this channel? What some more artists you guys want me to record reactions to? Let me know everything in that comment section down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And I'll leave a link to the original in the description if you want to go check it out for yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please press that subscribe button and maybe that like button. Support this channel. Anyway, I love all of you wonderful people. Have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, my friends, you will see you.